Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day um, Today we're going to uh, do a bit of sharing on the use of uh, uh, electronic lab notebook or ELN uh, using the uh, OneNote application that comes together with um, Microsoft Office Right, so uh, what is a uh, an electronic lab notebook? Uh, and ELN is basically a digital version of a traditional notebook. I've actually asked students whether, you know, how many of them have actually used or are or have in their possession a lab notebook. Well, not many of them actually. This is quite unfortunate because lab notebooks uh, are one of the most important aspect in um, in doing experiments, you know, doing research. You have to have a notebook that where you jot down every single thing that is uh, going on in your experiments. Uh, so um, ELN is basically a, um, a replacement of the traditional lab notebook where rather than using pen and a notebook or pen and paper, we use uh, a computer to note our experimental results. Um, well, the, of course, the, uh, the uh, advantages of an electronic lab notebook is that it allows you to access, share, the most important thing is sharing. Yeah? So one of the important aspects of ELN that, that I will push uh, in this uh, uh, talk is the fact that uh, there is an element of sharing and an element of uh, supervision. Now, usually, usually, um, when we uh, um, have experiments once a week, in when we have the opportunity to do it to do it face to face, uh, when we have a lab session, yes, of course, we do give give questions and 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 some exercises. But we don't really know what students are doing until they pass their uh, or submit their their reports. Uh, but with this ELN, uh, we can actually monitor them all the time. So um, the first day of the week where they have a lab until the next week, uh, this whole week, we have access to what they are doing. So it's very easy for, for us to know uh, which student is not doing work, which student is doing work, you know. So it, that one is, a, to me, is a very important tool because... Um, uh, then students will be, um, you know, uh, in quote, in quotes, uh, um, forced to work on their uh, lab, you know, and and of course with uh, this ability to uh, uh, supervise students the whole week, you can actually give them extra work, uh, extra exercises, you know, quizzes or whatever, and you can actually monitor monitor whether they are actually doing it or not doing it, yeah, with this ELN. So, um, of course, the most important aspect is to be able to, you know, it allows you to access, share, and analyze the data in a way that's not possible with a paper lab notebook. Yeah? Um, well, instead of being uh, just a pen and paper, uh, ELN is a sophisticated platform that allows you to aggregate information um, about your experiments into one digi digital place, making it easily, easily searchable. Yes, you know, um, one note is searchable and reusable for subsequent experiments. Yeah. Um, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, ELN uh, products out there. Um, there is one paper, I think, in um, in one of the links that I'm giving you in this uh, um, PowerPoint, um, where uh, some researchers have actually done um, or assessed a number of ELNs, uh, commercial ELNs, and they actually found that OneNote is one of the most uh, uh, useful. In fact, they would they would prefer OneNote to some of the uh, uh, commercial versions of ELN. Yeah? Okay, so uh, as I've mentioned earlier, ELN allows effective collaboration, uh, discussion, very important, and supervision. So you know what your students are doing. That's the most important thing. That is one of the things that I think um, uh, the biggest advantage of using ELN in our lab. Uh, lab sessions. Well, of course, you can also use it on your your postgraduate students. That will be even better because then you know that you know your students are actually doing work or not doing work. Because many of us complain, you know, our students don't come and see us. Um, some of them just disappear. Well, now you know if they disappear, but they are doing work, or they disappear and they don't do anything at all, because the ELN allows us to have this effective collaboration. Uh, it's a discuss. It's a, it's a it's an effective. A collaboration discussion and supervision uh, platform yeah. okay so we're going to use one note uh, this is what we've been using one note uh, as a platform for ELN so there are a lot of links that I'm giving you uh, 
um, uh, which contains the uh, I mean enough information for you to uh, um, basically use uh, ELN um, you know in your in your in your lab sessions yeah now the only problem with one node is that it lacks the chemical nature yeah uh, we can't draw chemical structures for example the commercial ELN yes you can do a lot of chemistry things you know you can uh, some of them uh, they are so good that they 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 they, in, they are integrated with uh, ChemDraw for example so you can open ChemDraw straight away uh, within the ELN environment. Uh, unfortunately, you can't do this uh, in one note. Yeah, you can't do this in one note. So the best that you can do is to actually save uh, say for example your ChemDraw sessions uh, within one note so that you know that you know yeah I just double click this and one one note will open. Um, um, there are some 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 companies where um, they do they do supply uh, chemistry intelligence into um, Microsoft Office, especially in OneNote. Nah? Uh, there are a few like TouchMole. I'm not mistaken. Is the, the name is TouchMole, where it integrates quite well with a lot of available um, uh, chemistry sketches, you know, sketching programs. And uh, uh, JCAM, you know, JCAM also um, supports Microsoft OneNote at one time, but they have uh, retracted that support. So you don't have, you will not have JCAM within ELN, uh, within OneNote. Yeah. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I'm going to show you uh, um, something else. There will be, there's a possibility of actually doing this. Um, you can draw uh, structures by hand if you have a pad or a pen and a pad you can draw structures by hand and you can actually convert these structures into uh, proper structures yeah? so basically you know uh, there is no uh, chemical intelligence uh, in one node now, that is one of the disadvantages of using one node as an electronic lab notebook yeah? right so there's a nature article on let ELN uh, and there are a few uh, articles here I think one of the articles is the one that I told you about um, 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 uh, one of the assessments one of the uh, researchers did uh, an assessment on many ELN uh, products and they, they say that uh, one is it's one of the best yeah? even though it's not no, it lacks the uh, chemical intelligence that I was talking about okay so I will give you a uh, uh, this uh, link to this uh, slide of course there are many other papers in the internet you can just search for them on uh, the use of uh, uh, OneNote as an ELN okay <clears throat> now uh, so what is uh, how do you use OneNote I'm just I'm just going to show you how uh, OneNote was used in one of the classes right uh, in your Windows 10 there are actually two versions of OneNote one is OneNote for Windows 10, and the other one is OneNote for for Microsoft Office 2016. Yeah? So if you look at this part here, so this one is OneNote for Windows 10, and this one is OneNote for Microsoft Office. They are not very much different, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is OneNote for Windows 10, so, so I can go to uh, any of the notebooks that I have here, right? Say this notebook. Okay, and uh, it's the same thing you know, because uh, the thing is, the one note is actually synchronized um, with um, with our Microsoft 365 in, in UM. So um, you don't have to worry whichever version you use. But uh, um, uh, if you were to, uh, if you have the, uh, the the need to draw molecules and get it converted to real molecules and save it in SDF format. Um, then, then you would want to use the Microsoft, uh, so the the ELN, I'm talking about the 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 OneNote for Microsoft Office, okay, which has the uh, this add-in. Show you this add-in, ink to molecule. So you can actually draw uh, the molecule and get it converted to a proper molecule molecular structure. So of course, this is an add-in. You have to actually uh, add. The uh, the add-in, you know, in order for you to be able to use this ink to molecule feature. Okay, let's uh, use OneNote for Windows 10 to actually look at what 
we have done uh, with our um, lab session okay so this is a lab session uh, for the third year so you have list of students here okay now each student will be a, 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 a section will be created for each student and uh, uh, it's up to you to actually uh, then create uh, pages for each section so for example um, let's look at Monica here so you have uh, a few uh, pages these are the pages that I have created for each student so we have experiments 1, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then I also created a resources page meant for them to uh, put in whatever resources that they have used in uh, um, uh, working on that particular experiment okay or any particular experiment some notes section okay some students actually use this note section to to, to write notes okay um, reports this is where they submit their report okay um, what is this okay there's another one uh, she created uh, her own section there now I can also I, I should have created another section where um, you know I should uh, I would be able to discuss with the students the, the problem is um, um, because I didn't create it I sort of um, used the students pages to uh, to show them you know uh, to, 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 to basically give comments on their uh, work okay so for example uh, section 6 experiment 6 okay Yeah, so I, I actually wrote within uh, the uh, page that she created uh, this linear regression analysis so I give them the, the, the comments straight onto into their pages yeah and that can also be done but uh, it would be good if you have a discussion page there where you can actually comment on each each individual student um, uh, what so far so far for, for what they have done so far um, and um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, the, the good thing about using ELN is that uh, uh, you have this um, um, uh, continuous, you know, pseudo, because you don't see them face to face, uh, pseudo uh, assessment or pseudo supervision, where you actually know what they are doing. So, uh, like, for example, after a few days of giving uh, the experiments, you know, talking about the data and everything, then I will wait for about two days and I start looking into their pages and uh, you will see that some students haven't started anything so i will write them right inside their pages say for example let's have a look at some students uh, hold on. Mm. Uh, i've actually noted uh, within their notes you know for example if they're not doing anything yet i'll just write down you know um please start working on your work on your on your experiments and the data of your experiments so uh, it is quite easy to uh, um, look at each student's work you have a continuous um, uh, supervision upon them you know so uh, they don't they can't really run away from you know, one week of not doing anything and and finally last minute copying uh, from other students so they, they, they can't do this because you are you know you have your eyes on them all the time yeah so each student will be given as i've mentioned earlier some you know, sections and uh, you can add your own sections where you you'll tell the students that okay this in this section you will ask your questions and then i will answer the questions uh, within that, that 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 page so students can also add for example sub pages is it here they can also add yeah make sub pages they can make that that uh, uh, page there a sub page of the one above you know um, as far as the the uh, 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 functionalities of uh, one note for for windows or one note um, app um, there are a lot of functionalities that that, that that students can actually learn and use yeah so this is undergraduate student they will only work of course only on what's being asked 
of them you know they will go through the experiments and some of them will actually do uh, very very good work yeah uh, but if you look at an example of postgraduate student so i have uh, uh, postgraduate students in the master's class where um, one of the uh, assi assignments is to actually use uh, um, eln um, for their experiments for their projects yeah so for example the student here okay right so so uh, uh, the student has been using uh, one note you know quite uh, extensively using the different uh, functionalities of one note to to jot down her results you know to do discussion and everything yeah okay Right. So, uh, how do you start off doing using using OneNote? Yeah. Um, uh, of course, there are a lot of things to learn about OneNote, but how do you start off using it? Now, there are a few ways because we are uh, in UM. Uh, we have uh, Microsoft three six five, um, and uh, uh, basically we have um, a lot of space to play around with. Yeah. So, one of the the, the easiest way is to actually create a team yeah? so uh, you can actually use your Microsoft teams to create a team yeah? so you have teams here so you can actually create or join a team so if you want to create a, a class notebook for uh, your new lab okay you just click there and you just create a team so what will happen is that uh, a space will be assigned to you under the SharePoint of UM, and uh, you can you can basically you know the space is quite is big, yeah. So you can use the space. Your your class notebook will be will be placed in the space, yeah. So you can click class and uh, just create yeah and sharing, okay. Three, I've shared two already. I've done two. Okay, description you can you can you can put some descriptions of your 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 uh, notebook uh, students you can add teachers if you have uh, your colleagues you want your colleagues to share uh, what the students are doing you have uh, say for example you're a supervisor you have co-supervisors you can put put your co-supervisors name there so that your co-supervisors also have access to what the students doing uh, but for the case of uh, normal lab work you know um, experiments in the undergraduate uh, program so we just put a student I'll just put anyone a right the kang su so he's a student i'll add the student okay and then one student is enough and i say set up class notebook so a class notebook called sharing uh, eln sharing 3 will be created with one student yeah so uh, then you can go on adding more and more students yeah um, and you can even add, as mentioned earlier, uh, lecturers, teachers, uh, for whom, with whom you want to share the materials done by the students. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there are a lot of um, possibilities. I, mean, I, 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 I feel like, for example, for the past 20 years, um, uh, if I were to actually implement ELNs, you know, I would have all my uh, work, my past students' work, you know, uh, in in a, uh, the the results the actual material the raw materials of uh, the students work um, in a computer and i wouldn't have lost everything you know so at, at the moment i do not know about you guys but for me uh, my student 20 years ago i mean i don't have their results at all you know what they have is just a what i have is just a, a their, their thesis um, nothing more than that so if if you were to implement one note or eln in general for your students be it your undergraduate students or your um, uh, postgraduate students then you would have their data all the time you know you wouldn't lose it because it's not kept in your computer it's kept in the uh, in the cloud yeah? uh, the good thing again is one note can be accessed in many many different ways you can have a, a desktop one note where you can access all the uh, uh, ELNs through your desktop uh, OneNote is also available on handphone, so you can actually use your handphone. In fact, uh, if you have a pen with your handphone, it's very easy to even do work you know, anywhere you are. 
So uh, there are instances where students ask questions and you you are not there in front of a computer you know, and you think that you have the best answer at that time. So you can straight away answer your students within the ELN uh, platform. Yeah? And ELN is also accessible uh, through web. Yes, students can actually get access to their um, uh, OneNote uh, notebooks or the ELNs assigned to them, uh, and they can actually uh, yeah do work uh, via the web. Yeah? So accessibility is really um, you know um, huge. You know there are different different possibilities, different platforms that you can actually use to access their uh, your ELN or their ELN students ELN. So um, um, there's no problem at all with uh, accessibility. Yeah. Right. Um, I think that's about it. You know. Um, I hope uh, this has been useful, and uh, uh, and I hope I hope uh, uh, you you will actually use uh, OneNote as a platform for your ELN uh, to use with the uh, um, with your experiments, undergraduate experiments, and to use. Uh, with your uh, postgraduate students and uh, yeah hopefully uh, after this you will uh, uh, have a more organized uh, data organized uh, uh, experiments or well, students will have and at least for for you it will be easy for you to supervise the students you know and it will make uh, you know data accessible for you and for your students at all times yeah. so i hope uh, yeah uh, I hope I, I am able to impart something useful today and uh, inshallah uh, if we were to begin to use this in our work um, uh, I, I can I would say like it is um, maybe I would vow to that that uh, you know you will have a, a, a clearer mind you know because you now now with this you have access to your students basically you know what they are doing yeah um, you can actually enforce certain things like for example every paper that you read please put it into the uh, uh, lab notebook I want to see what kind of references you go through uh, what kind of uh, for example um, 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 pages in the internet that you actually browse through as references for your work yeah so uh, yeah I hope it will be uh, useful for all of us okay I suppose that's about it Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a very good day. Bye-bye.